The leaves of brown came tumbling down September. In actual fact, it's November. But I've been sweeping all the leaves into this area here that's fallen off the birch tree and make it into a mulch. So that's one lot of leaves. <laughs> That's Alma. She's a great aunt. She's coming to sit in the garden over the winter. This is a, another area that I mulch with leaves every year around this Burginia. It looks a lot, but uh, it helps them survive the winter and uh, seems to give them a uh, fertilizer so the Burginia gets mulched with leaves so there you have it that's uh, lime leaves and uh, birch leaves covering the whole area quite, <laughs> quite deep if you look here, that's how deep it is before it gets down to the ground. And I have spread some chicken manure on top of it so to help the decaying process. And we'll see if that sort of breaks it down and there we have another wheelbarrow of leaves this is all uh, jasmine and uh, I suppose the idea is that uh, lots of people mulch their gardens with, with straw or bark chips, wood chips. And uh, this year I'm going to mulch the whole of my little growing area here with uh, leaves. And I'm not going to be planting lots of crops, I'm only going to be planting to get the best results, the same shred the leaves, but I don't have any to shred it. Or they said you could put it into a bucket, then put one of those sort of strimmers in it, and sort of strim it down with, with that and make it much smaller because it can get compacted on the ground and uh, just form a mat and uh, not let. Uh, oxygen through or rainwater but uh, I'm going to do it and uh, see what happens I've already covered most of the, the ground here with the uh, leaves and we'll see how it gets on <laughs> <laughs> 